Hey, what's going on guys, Paul here, and in this video, I'll be unboxing the all new iPhone 16 Plus. So here's what the iPhone 16 Plus box looks like. We've got the back of the all new iPhone 16 Plus, which has this new camera layout, which looks really awesome. I was never a big fan of the iPhone 15 Plus camera layout. And uh, yeah, this reminds me of the iPhone 10 camera setup, but just way more fancier and cooler. The front of the box that has the back of the phone, you can actually kind of feel it. It is sticking up, which is awesome. We've got the Apple logo right here in the bottom, iPhone right there, Apple logo there on the top, as well as on the side here. Looking here at the back, you have a pull tab, iPhone 16 plus designed by Apple in California, and then includes iPhone 16 plus and USB-C charge cable, power adapter and headphones sold separately. Here at the bottom, we have another pull tab as well as shows it's the 128 gigabyte model and it is in the white color. So now let's go ahead and open this up for the first time. The top of the box easily slides out. And if you look in the back, we've got this big camera cutout. And wow, this camera is definitely a lot bigger than I was expecting looking through the pictures. Uh, it definitely looks really nice. I think the iPhone 16 Plus here is by far, I would say, uh, one of the best looking iPhones. I'm not gonna compare this to the iPhone 16 Pro Max kind of camera layout, but all the like iPhone 13 and then 14, 15, uh, the 12, I definitely like this setup a lot more. It looks really, really cool. And looking here, it sometimes just gives me the illusion that I have two iPhones sitting next to each other, but the white color itself is really, really, really nice. I've got this frost white, and then the Apple logo, which is glossy, the flash, and then the two cameras with the glossy back and it looks like a microphone right there. But let's go ahead and put this aside. And then we're gonna take a look at what else we have in the packaging. And this is the new packaging. We've got the SIM eject tool right here because this is a Canadian model. And then it's a USB-C to USB-C cable right there. And it is braided. And if we take a look here, you can see that we no longer have any Apple stickers included with the iPhone 16 and even the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Uh, there's no more Apple stickers. And it's pretty sad because it was very exciting to open up iPhones and then see Apple stickers, but we no longer have any Apple stickers included with the iPhone 16 lineup. Let's go ahead and put all of this away and then take a look at the phone itself. Here at the top of the phone, we have an antenna, the aluminum frame, which looks pretty premium. And then two antennas here, the SIM tray, volume up and down, and the action button is now available on the iPhone 16 uh, as well as the iPhone 16 Plus. And it's pretty cool that the iPhone 16 also got the new camera button. Um, you know, Apple definitely gave two cool features to the iPhone 16 lineup um, that you didn't have to get a Pro phone. I was expecting this might be only available in the Pro and then next year they would give you the um, camera button on iPhone 17, for example. But they gave you both, which is really, really cool. We've got the power button, two antennas, here at the bottom, we have the USB-C charging port as well as the speaker and microphone and an antenna. But yeah, having the SIM tray is really cool because I still like using physical SIM cards. It's really, really awesome to still have a SIM tray. We have this white cover, which shows that this is in fact the mute switch, but it is programmable, volume up and down. And then the power button, we've got this lightning bolt to indicate that this is for charging. And then of course the camera for the camera button. So let's go ahead and peel this off. Let's go ahead and hold the power button for the first time. Got the Apple logo. Looking here at the front, we've got the earpiece cutout as well as the dynamic island with the front facing camera. And I definitely wanna see this phone side by side with the iPhone 16 Pro Max so we can kind of see the difference in the bezel size. So here we have the iPhone 16 Pro Max in the titanium black. And this is what it looks like side by side when you try to compare the bezels. The 16 Pro Max is definitely a bigger phone as you guys can see. And I love the bezels being much, much, much more thinner. If you look at the sides right there, you definitely see the bezels a lot more on the iPhone 16 Plus. And here's the camera setup on the iPhone 16 Pro Max and then the iPhone 16 Plus side by side. So now let's go with the setup process for the first time. So we're just gonna swipe up. I'm gonna go with English. Select your country or region. I'm in Canada, so let's do that. Appearance, we can choose how we would like the text and icons to look on the phone. So here's what medium would look like. And then here's what large would look like. 
I'll go with default. Let's hit continue. Quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. I'm going to go with the option to set up without, without another device. And then we're going to be having the option to connect to my Wi-Fi network. So let me just quickly type the password. Just typed in the password and I accidentally put the wrong password. Let's hit join. And anytime you put the correct password on the iPhone, it just quickly like instantly goes to the next step. Whereas if you put it wrong, it does take a lot longer to tell you it's wrong. Uh, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. We're just going to wait for that. We've got the SOS enabled, the Wi-Fi is connected. Data and privacy, let's hit continue. Set up iPhone. You can set up this iPhone for yourself or for a child in your family. Child accounts can be created by a parent or legal guardian for children 12 and younger. So you can do that here for a child in my family. But I'm going to set this up for myself. We've got Face ID. You can set it up later. I'll go ahead and hit continue to set up right now. How to set up Face ID. First position your face in the camera frame. Then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face. Let's hit get started. And this is what the iPhone 15 Plus camera layout looks like. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I did have the phone in a way, so that's one of the reasons it was a bit more challenging to set up. But if you don't have anything in front of you, just basically turn your head around and it just does it so quick that you don't even realize. Let's go ahead and uh, use this phone without a mask. And then Face ID is now set up. Let's continue. I'm going to type in a password just like that. Uh, it's going to be easily guessed. I'll hit use anyway. And then we're just going to type in one more time. And wow, after setting up the iPhone 16 Pro Max, I can definitely notice the bezels. It is way more. And imagine when you put a case, then the bezels become even more bigger in a way because the case kind of expands out. So definitely I'm going to see a huge difference with the uh, iPhone 16 Pro Max being my daily driver because it is just going to have a lot more smaller bezels. Uh, transfer your apps and data from iCloud backup, from another iPhone, from Mac or PC, from Android, or don't transfer anything. That's what I'll go with. Apple account, you can sign in right here or hit forgot password or don't have an account. That's what I'll hit to tell you what you'll be missing out on. Create one forgot password. I'll set up later in settings and then I'll hit don't use. Terms and conditions. Update your iPhone automatically. Let's hit continue. iMessage and FaceTime. Locations and services. Here you have your eSIM setup process. So you can scan a QR code. So if you have like an eSIM QR code available, you can put it here and then uh, kind of scan that. Or if your carrier supports it, you can transfer your current eSIM to your new iPhone uh, using the transfer from nearby iPhone uh, feature. So I'll go ahead and hit set up later in settings. And then we have screen time. So get weekly report with insights and stuff like that. I definitely like seeing this because it tells me how much I'm using which app. And if I can, I try to use it a little less if I see it's taking up a lot of my time in the week. So let's hit continue for that. iPhone analytics, I'll go with don't share. And then light or dark display. That's what dark would look like. So the bezels are way more or less visible in dark mode. Once you're in light mode, you easily see the bezels. Uh, but you have also auto options. So let's hit continue. We've got silent mode. It's going to tell us about the action button in this next step right here. And I'm going to use it as a silent switch, but you can hit customize. And then from here on, you can see focus camera, which I would not use because we have the camera button already. So we've got flashlight, which is a cool thing. If you really want to activate your flashlight real fast on the go, you can have that as the uh, action button function, voice memo, uh, recognize music, translate, magnifier, shortcut, as well as the accessibility and the no action button at all function. So I'll go with silent and then let's hit continue. Camera control, click camera control to open a camera app, then click again to use camera control as a shutter. So let's hit continue and it's going to tell me how it's all done. So you just push it and then you can push it again and take a quick photo. Let's hit continue. We've got Siri. You can set this up later, but I'll set up the Siri process right now. You can pick a voice. The colors of the sky fade with the settings. Choose sun. for me. The colors of the sky. The I'll colors of the sky. And then hit continue. How's the weather? Send a message. Reset a timer for three minutes. Get directions home. Play some music. Here we go, Siri is ready. Let's hit continue. Improve Siri and dictations. I'm gonna go with the option not now. 
You've got emergency SOS with the iPhone 16 Plus, so you can press and hold for the emergency SOS, crash detections also, and one of my favorite features is the satellite function that you can easily end up sharing your location to your loved ones using the satellite function. I really like this, but yeah, you get that also with the iPhone 16 Plus. Let's hit next here and then welcome to the iPhone. And here is the all new iPhone 16 Plus all set up for the first time. Let's go ahead and try the face ID here. Opens up right away. Let's try the camera button. Opens up right away. We can just take a quick snap like that. And then we can also, if I do this correctly, there we go. We can just zoom in and out just like that. Or you can just do it like this. This is how I've always done it, but you have a dedicated uh, control here that you can use uh, to easily zoom in and out. But I do have like my tripod and stuff on the way, so it's a lot more difficult for me to use, but it's pretty cool. Like you're here, let's just quickly take a photo. It opens up and here we go. You take a really quick snap. Uh, and here's what the photo looked like. Very quick snap. And uh, yeah, so this was the quick unboxing of the all new iPhone 16 Plus in the white color and the setup process as well. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.